Good afternoon. Um, a short while ago, um, I got a phone call one day and uh, on voicemail anyway, and I played the voicemail and voicemail said, this is Keith Gill. I'm the new uh, commissioner of the Sunbelt Conference and uh, really look forward to meeting with you and meeting you and uh, working this thing. I thought, that, how cool was that? That was really cool. But um, we're glad to have Commissioner Gill here and uh, we certainly wish him nothing but the best. On behalf of our players, Commissioner, players, we uh, autographed a the helmet there okay. for your Thank office you. and stuff and uh, certainly welcome you to Sunbelt. Yeah. We Thank appreciate you so it. Much. Thank this you. is great. Oh, wow. Actually, I guess I, I got a big head, but I don't know <laughs> that I can still get over this. So thank you so much. This is great. I want it for you. Yeah, thank you. Well, one, I just want to say it's great to be here. Um, so the hospitality has been tremendous here at ULM. And I've had an opportunity to meet with several um, coaches and also kind of tour the facilities and spend a lot of time um, just kind of getting a sense of the place. So this is my eighth um, school. So I'm on a tour of of all 12 Sun, Sun Belt schools before the start of the football season. So I've got four left in the next two weeks. So I've got to kind of keep up my pace. But it's been pretty tremendous. I would say a couple things that I really have learned and that have been impressive is just what a quality league it is. And I think that's evident, evident here um, at ULM um, and the great work that um, Coach Viator has done with the football program and the coaches with the other sports. So I think the, um, we are really, as a conference office, going to focus on trying to get the word out about the quality of the Sun Belt and its football program. If you think in the last four years, um, we've led FBS in bowl winning percentage um, by a wide, wide margin. Um, we you know, had the most um, non-conference wins in the group of five uh, last year as well. And so there are a lot of great things about Sun Belt football that we want to continue to promote and continue to show. So um, it's, been, it's been a great kind of visit you know, um, here at ULM. I'm looking forward to um, having lunch with um, President Bruno and to talk about kind of his you know, vision for the league and vision for um, ULM athletics. So thanks so much for having me. Um, I want to thank um, Scott McDonald for hosting me, um, the Director of Athletics here at ULM. It's been tremendous, uh, a lot of great hospitality and um, had a chance to see a lot of good things. And I'm looking forward to coming back um, for a football game. So I hope to um, maybe be back um, for the game um, against Memphis here. So I want to make sure that I get to a home game here and um, see, obviously, the good work Coach is doing. So so thanks so much for having me. Anybody have any questions for, for the commissioner at the podium? Obviously, you hit the ground running. Why was it imp uh, important for you to kind of get boots on the ground and kind of get on some of these campuses and hear some of the concerns? Yeah, I wanted to get a sense of, well, one, we're going to start a strategic planning process um, pretty shortly. So we want to get a sense of where people feel like the league should be headed. But I also wanted to get some context. I want to start building some relationships. Also get a chance to see what campus looks like, what facilities are looking, looking like. And that's going to be harder to do when I come during the academic year. People are going to be busy and, and kind of more focused. So I felt like I was really fortunate to start um, the job when I did because it gave me an opportunity to um, to get around and to see places and meet folks. The only tough part is, you know, visiting all these really hot places in this suit is, um, is this, it can be a little uncomfortable, but it's given me a great chance to meet a lot of great folks and, and see campuses and, um, and just learn a lot about what the, what the conference is. So as we start to plan, I'll have better context to do that. Obviously it's football season right now, but a lot was made about basketball, especially the change from having the pods in and then moving away from that and, and kind of establishing, establishing the strategic plan, what is kind of the plan to elevate Sunbelt basketball? You know, I think Sunbelt, it's important. I, I think, um, you know, we can do be good at more than one thing, you know, and so obviously we're a great football league, but we can be a great basketball league, and that's men's and women's. And I think as we think about our strategic planning, we want to have multiple teams participate in the postseason, and particularly in NCAA championships. And so as we think about basketball, that is going to be our goal. How do we get more teams in the NCAA tournament? How do we get more teams in the NIT, at least in men's basketball? And so those, that's going to be our focus for us. And so our strategic plan will focus on how we can be more competitive. But I think that's really for all our sports. We want to be a multi-bid league in all the sports that we sponsor. That'll be an important part of what we do. You mentioned the hospitality, but uh, your other initial impressions of Monroe and being in this area? Um, 
Well, one, I'm, I'm really excited. Um, it's great because Scott took me around uh, some of the tailgating kind of opportunities around the football piece. So I think the support of football is, has been, been really impressive. I think the support of the university has been great. I think the beauty of the campus has been, has been great. And I also think the energy of the coaches. So I had an opportunity to meet with um, you know, men's and women's basketball, softball, baseball coaches today. And I was just impressed by their commitment to students. Um, actually, I had a chance to meet with um, a great um, softball student athlete, Jade, today. So I've been impressed by the people. I've been impressed by their dedication to um, success and excellence and, um, and, and kind of their commitment to, to making sure that they're building the best program they can have. I think it's easy to label you a basketball guy coming from the A-10, but um, people don't know about your football background either, so kind of you know explain that to some folks. Yeah, now some of my teammates might laugh if I say I'm a football guy, um, just because I didn't play as much as I would have liked. But but football really is 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 kind of the sport that um, I cut my teeth in. That's what I played in college. Um, you know, I worked at Oklahoma, I worked at Vanderbilt. Um, worked around those football programs and at Richmond. So football has um, always been an important part of my life, um, and I would consider myself um, a football guy. I love the sport. Um, I'm really dedicated to making sure that the sport continues and grows, um, and it certainly overcomes some of the challenges that, that face the sport. And, um, and so, and I think I've, I've certainly had an opportunity to be around great basketball and have success there. So. I would consider myself very, very knowledgeable in basketball, and, and some people could call me a basketball, a basketball guy, and, and I would certainly accept that. But I'm also a football guy and, and, and certainly love the sport and feel like I know it well and really look forward to hoping, helping the Sun Belt kind of grow its football profile and, and um, take that next step. You, know, you, you talked about some of the stuff the Sun Belt's accomplished over the past couple of years in terms of bowl wins, out of conference wins. Is, is that, is that good to know as you come into this job that all the, the stuff's right there to sell? It's just upon you to get out there and, you know, beat the doors down and make sure everybody knows. Yeah, you know, it's great. You know, it's interesting. The great thing about, you know, being on this kind of eight, well, 12 campus tour and have been to eight of them is I really do recognize that our institutions are doing their part. They're going out and winning games. They're going out and, and beating, you know, SEC and ACC opponents and, and, and really doing their part. So it's up to us to figure out how to tell that story and make sure it resonates. And I think the easiest part is telling the story, you know, and so that's what we've got to figure. Out. The hardest part is actually going out and winning the games. And so, and we're already doing that as a league, you know, it's a, it's a quality league, it's great football. And, and so having that as a foundation, I think we're very, very fortunate. And it's just gonna be, how do we let the rest of the world know um, what a great football conference this is. And once we figure that piece out, um, we'll be off and running.